Greetings viewers, welcome. Uh, this is going to be a quick video on battery maintenance. So this is my power inverter setup. I have usually two uh, deep cycle batteries in there, group 29. Uh, one of them's over here, the other one's in here. Uh, I neglected to watch the water levels, the electrolyte levels in the cells, and this particular one, uh, one of the cells closest to the negative terminal of the battery wound up uh, getting damaged. It uh, boiled off and uh, exposed the lead uh, plates inside. So there was uh, basically the battery failed. The battery only holds a charge up to 5.5, uh, I'm sorry, 12.5 volts and uh, would not go beyond that at a rest state. But the update here is I've been perusing around the internet and I found this stuff. It's uh, called Battery Equalizer from Battery Mart. Uh, it's an additive with uh, cadmium sulfate and cobalt sulfate, which I guess the chemistry behind it is that you pour one to two ounces uh, per cell into your battery you run through three discharge and recharge cycles and what this stuff is supposed to do is supposed to reactivate the um, the rust the, the the plates that got damaged basically that got corroded and sulfated from the being exposed to the air and I gotta say that uh, this has worked really well um, originally the it was 12 12.5 at rest you know I put this stuff in I discharged it to 11 volts uh, DC at an open circuit, recharged it back up. I had to be careful the first couple times because the battery would get pretty hot when the and when the charger would go up. It's charging at 14.4 volts, so it's gonna it's gonna stay at that voltage for a certain t period of time, uh, and then it would go back down to a float level. But I couldn't do that immediately because the electrolysis inside the cell where it was. Uh, dried up, you know, was causing the other cells to overcharge because it wasn't being, wasn't able to take the current well. Uh, so I went through the charge cycles, and uh, I have to say that uh, the second time around was about 12.7 at rest, and then by the third time, it really started to make a difference. I was showing about 13.01 uh, volts uh, at rest, open circuit, and um, that was after about eight nine hours. I let it sit overnight. Uh, the battery's not getting hot anymore. Uh, it actually has taken a charge very well, and uh, I gotta say, it's, I must have had this, I didn't damage the battery as much as I thought. Um, this stuff is certainly not, um, you know, magic in a bottle or anything like that, but depending on where uh, the life of your battery is, you know, this stuff can really, really help you save a battery. So, I'm gonna give this stuff a thumbs up. I think there's another another brand out there called Charge It. I think it's pretty much the same kind of chemicals, the additive, but I am gonna be using this uh, from now on. And also, just using some uh, distilled water just to make sure that my lead acid batteries are topped off here. But uh, just wanted to discuss the uh, battery equalizer stuff. I'll make, of a, I'll make a link to where I bought it on Amazon. I think it was like $12 for this one. And, these I think were a little bit more expensive. This is uh, 12 ounces versus a six ounce. Six ounce should be enough for one battery. Um, I wound up getting a couple more just for the sake of having them. And then, uh, yeah, so if there's any questions on this, please uh, feel free to leave a comment in the description down below. Um, again, this is, I'm actually quite impressed on how well it turned out. And just for a reference, this battery is manufactured on May of 2014. And right now it is September of 2017. So, cheers.